Common variations of the PID controller include P, PI, and PD controllers. For example, if I have a PID controller but set the derivative gain K sub D equal to zero, then I just call that a PI controller. Now, which one of these you want to use depends on the dynamics of your system, the kinds of sensor that you have, and how quickly the reference signal might be changing. Uh, but one important aspect is the dynamics. So if you look at the order of the system, and that refers to how many integrations away the controlled output is from the input, then that can often help you decide which kind of controller to use. So for example, in the example of controlling the arm, I'm applying a torque at the shoulder, which turns into an acceleration. And what I'm trying to control is the position of the arm. So the position is two integrations away from the torque or the input. So that information can often help you decide which kind of controller you'd like to use. So for example, uh, controlling the position of a mass using a force. So that's exactly the arm example. That's an order two system. Again, the output is two integrations away from the input. And for that kind of system, you typically need damping. Right? If I'm trying to control a mass using a force, that maps to an acceleration. And if I'm just applying a, a spring to it, for example, then it's going to want to oscillate. So I need some damping. So typically for a second order system, I'll use a PD controller or a PID controller. It will have some damping. On the other hand, if you consider a first order system such as this one, if I want to control the voltage across a capacitor using a current, we know that the voltage buildup across the capacitor is defined by first order dynamics. It's so the voltage is only one integration away from the current. For that kind of system, there's not much danger of overshoot and oscillation. So there you might just prefer to use a proportional controller or more typically a proportional integral controller. And similarly for a zeroth order system, an example being if I'm trying to control the current through a resistor by controlling the voltage across that resistor, then we know if we change the voltage, the current changes instantaneously. So it's zeroth order dynamics. The voltage maps directly to the current. So for that kind of zeroth order system, again, damping is not usually very relevant, so we would stick with a P or PI controller. 